what I'm going to do today is to share with you something slightly different. The evolution of our development within BIID in terms of PAD. Okay. So, first, just a little bit about background of the company. Of the company. We are a German company. <coughs> and uh, we were founded way back in 1998. Okay. We are based in Nuremberg, Germany. And that's me, and that's uh, my best friend and the most important guy in our company, Dr. Friso, is somewhere in the audience. And we've been doing biometrics since, uh, multi-modal biometrics since 1998. We started the project from Frankhofer IIS in, in Alan, and by the name Sasa, that was how we started the, the department. Okay. And we've been doing multi-modal biometrics since then. And we are a new company. We develop every single line of code ourselves. No open sources, nothing, not all our patented uh, algorithms. Okay. I'm going to sort of uh, condense it in the next 10 minutes to show you exactly the evolution that we have done since then. Okay. So since 20, 2004, that's about 16 years ago, we started our challenges one development. Okay. The channel response work at that time was really a client server architecture. There was not so much of cloud service, nothing like that. So it is pretty much a well controlled environment. Most of the biometric application are usually in a controlled environment. So alignment detection is not really a big deal, but we develop anyway because we have to tell the, our, our customers or the, the clients that this is exactly what we have developed to protect them. I'm going to elaborate slightly a little bit more later on, okay? So, but that's 15 years ago, okay? Starting 2010, we have done something completely different because to, to offer a solution to the, to the industry that requires a biometric specialist is not really our aim. We want to make biometric uh, technology available to everyone. They do not need to be a biometric specialist. So we revamp the algorithm, of course, and make it available in a cloud. Then you say, ha -ha. now we are not no longer talking about control environment. Remember the, the comic that, you know, at, uh, on the internet, you never know if there's a dog behind at the other end. This is exactly what it is. So to move the technology in the cloud is extremely challenging. Okay. That's why we develop our 3D structure analysis. I'm going to elaborate again slightly later in the next few slides. And of course, with the evolution of technologies, now we're talking about AI and those kind of, we started our development a long time ago with neural networks as well. Then we say, well, there are certain things we have to present to in, in, introduce to the, our technology to prevent the spoofing, because when we are getting better, the attackers are also getting smarter as well. This is a reality. So we introduce our texture analysis based on DCNN, as you always know. And of course, now we fuse all the technology that we process in-house and we make them work together. And you have probably seen the, the demo that we have outside. Okay. So we just put them all together as our uh, offering to the industry. <coughs> 